In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove bags, wrinkles and shadows from beneath eyes with Luminar 3. Luminar is an excellent RAW processor and makes a great addition to a photographer's toolkit. OK then, to clean up these eyes, what we're going to do is to transfer some skin from here on the forehead to here around the eyes and then we're going to tone the patches to match the rest of the skin. The first tool we'll use is the clone and stamp, so tools and clone and stamp. OK, for this skin graft, so to speak, we'll do one eye at a time. The first thing we have to do is set a source for the clone and stamp. As I'm going to do the left eye first, I'm going to go around like this to fill that area, so I think I'll transfer from around there. So, if I set my source to just around here, and then right click to set my brush size, like so, and then straight away start to patch, painting around the socket, like so. Under the sweep, all around the socket, make sure I've patched properly. I want to grab the whole area of the socket, plus more, because I will be tidying up the patch afterwards. And that's it, so click done, we've completed our patch. And you'll see why I have copied more than I need a bigger area in a little while. So the next thing I need to do is to isolate this area so that when I apply the toning filters in a little while it doesn't affect the whole image. If I don't mask it off then the adjustments will affect the whole face. And I only want to tone the patch area. Also we want to refine the patch itself. To do this we go to our cloner stamp layer, right click and then select Mask, Invert. Now that has inverted the mask and so erased it from the whole of the image including the patch area. Next we need to paint the patch back in and refine it at the same time. So select the brush on the layer and pick Brush. Make sure we're on Paint. Right click to set a useful size. And then I want maximum opacity and then just paint back in where you want the patch. Just sweep back around the eye socket until the patch is back. And we're nearly done. I think that's fine. Now I'm going to select Erase to turn my brush into an erasing brush, set it to quite big and lower the opacity to around 24-25. And I'm going to just softly sweep around the outside of the patch, like so, blending the patch bit by bit into the surrounding skin. Bit by bit, all around the patch, until it blends nicely. Not too bad, but I have erased just a bit too much there. So, back into paint mode, bring the size down, leave the opacity the same, and then just paint that bit of patch back in just around that bottom area, then back to erase, and then increase the size and back to blending the edge of the patch until I think I've got something that looks quite natural, like a nice blend between the patch and the skin. And there we have it, that's pretty good, I think that will do. Click done. So now I want to tone this patch to match the colour and brightness of the surrounding skin to better mix it, so to speak. With our clone and stamp layer selected, add filters, and two I like to use are saturation and brightness and tone. The first thing I like to use is the exposure adjustment. And then I set the exposure, moving it up or down, depending on the situation. In this case, I think down, until it matches the skin around the eye more. That looks fine for now. The patch is looking a little desaturated now, so we will up the saturation until it looks nice. OK, that's a bit too much, so down we go, just a bit, and I think about there will do. Now I just want to flatten the patch a little bit, so first I'll bring down the highlights, like so, and then we'll have a little play with the shadows, see the best position for those lower or higher yep that's fine then another little tweak with the highlights okay that's fine now i think this area is looking a little off so i'm going to erase the bit of patch from there 
So quickly go back into my brush, like so, select erase, and I'm just going to erase a little bit more from this area here. Just so that that area is more like her own face. Okay, that'll do. We're done with that. I don't want the blend to appear unnatural. I think that's not a bad match at all. And the last thing to do with this patch is to reduce the layer opacity to mix the patch in with the original skin a bit. I think of a mix of about 70% seems nice. That looks like a nice natural patch. Let's take a little look at before and after and before and after. I think that's a pretty good reduction of shadows and bags and wrinkles. Let's get on to the right eye, so it's the same procedure. Select Tools and Clone and Stamp. And then just wait while it does its preparation. And we're ready. Now I'm going to be filling in around here, so I'll set the source here. Click to set the source start and right click and set my size like so and opacity is fine and just paint in the patch making sure I get everywhere I need and just a little extra around the edges like so and one last little tweak just there very nice I think we have a pretty good patch hit done then let it process and again we're going to refine the patch Right click our clone and stamp layer and select mask and invert. Select our brush, brush, then set it to a reasonable size. Change our opacity to maximum for this one. And then just paint the patch back in around the eye. Exactly where we want it, like so. And then Hold on, missed a bit, just there. Then erase, give ourselves a bigger brush for a nice soft edge. Opacity, I think, down to about 25. And then gently around the outside, erasing the patch to mix it in with the surrounding skin. And as we can see, this patch is behaving itself, it's blending really well quickly nearly there one last touch I think that will do hit done now to add our tone filters so select filters and saturation and vibrance and tone so exposure I think it's just a tad bright so bring it down or we'll play with it I think around there that's that's it that's fine then saturation up until it seems about right I think about there bring the highlights down just a tad to flatten it a bit then a tweak on the shadows you just have to play with it I think about there and then we adjust our layer opacity bring it down to 70 ish maybe there about 73 now we have one last little job for this image, which is to go into the eyes and make sure we clean out any residual patch from the eyeballs. Select our first clone and stamp. Again, select the brush and then zoom into the eye so we can get a good look at it and make sure we're nice and tidy. Then select erase. I'll set the opacity to around 25 and I'm just going to sweep over the eyeball and around the edges of the eyelashes to make sure there's no residual patch interfering with the eyelash area. I want it nice and clear around the area. Okay, that's done, so next one. So, zoom back out and then select the next clone and stamp layer. Select our brush and erase. Then set our required opacity. Again, I think about 25 for this one. And zoom in until we're at the required 
magnification, I think that's a bit much, and start to paint and clean the patch from the eyelashes to make the eyelashes and the eye nice and clear. There's just like a thin film of patch residual from our erasing earlier, but just cleaning it off will give us nice clear eyes which will look great. And it'll better blend the patch into the edge of the eyelids. And then we're done. There we go. And we're finished. I don't think that's a bad job at all. We've got both eyes patched, so let's take a look at before and after. Before and after. And before and after. I think for a quick job, whilst at the same time trying to create a tutorial, that isn't bad at all. And now for a real challenge. We are going to attempt to patch these very deep wrinkly eyes. We won't do a complete replace, but we'll reduce them a bit. Okay, so tools and clone and stamp. And then set source. So I'm going to do around there. I'll set source here, I think, around there. Brush size down, and off we go, painting the patch. We'll have to do this patch in multiple parts, as there's not enough space on the forehead to do it in one go. I want to include plenty of cheek for blending. Now we need to do the top part, so we need to set another source. So hold Alt and click for a new source, about there. And then starting here at the top, painting around the eye, filling in another part of the patch. And back around here. Now we can see we're getting some eyebrow. But we can get rid of this little bit of eyebrow that we've accidentally placed by setting another source and painting it out like so. And here we go. Looks like we've got most of it, but I think I'll do a tiny bit more here. So set another source, just to blend that better. There we go. Then another source, and just a bit here. And I think that will do for our patch. So click done, like so. And then right click on the clone and stamp layer, and mask, invert. Then select our mask brush, and set the size to something manageable and set the opacity to max and paint it back in. Going all around the eye, getting the whole of the eye area, like so. Let's get the crow's foot. Okay, that's done, so select a raise. Then set our opacity, we need to bring it down to around 25, like so. And increase the size a bit and gently erase the edges of the patch to blend it into the surrounding skin, like so. Over here, and then up and over the arch of the eye. This is the bit that takes the most time, really, just gently going around the edge of the patch and mixing it in with the skin. Okay, that's fine for now, so hit done. And now we're going to tone the patch as usual. Add filters, saturation, vibrance, and tone. And exposure, set it to a level which will mix it nicely with the surrounding skin, that's fine. Increase the saturation a little, and then reduce the opacity of the layer to about there. I think that looks nice. Okay, let's take a look. So before and after, and before and after. So next to clean the eyeball, so let's just go in and clean it up. So select our brush and make sure we're in erase mode. So erase, zoom in. I don't want the mask to be so abrupt around the eye here, so I'm just going to erase it nicely from around the eye and over the eyeball and it looks a bit harsh just here, so I'll soften it a little bit. Okay, so that's one eye done, nice and quickly. Hit done. 
Now for the next eye. Here we go. Tools, clone and stamp. Then select our source. So we're going to be doing the bottom bit here. I think that will be a good source. Just set our brush size. Bring it down. Opacity is fine. And paint the patch back onto the face. Now I'm going into the eyebrow here. So I'm going to select a new source. And paint away. Like so. And we're going off screen. So I need another source. Again, another bit of eyebrow. So we'll paint over that. New source. Now I want to do just a bit around here. So new source. Just going around the top of the eye, selecting a new source once or twice until we've finished the whole patch. And we're nearly there. There we go. That's a pretty good patch. I think I'll go with that. Okay, so hit done. Okay, so that's done. Our next stage, as usual, is to create the mask for the patch. Right click the clone a stamp layer and mask invert. Then grab our layer brush like so. Paint and set our opacity to maximum. And set the size to something usable. And we're ready to just paint the mask back in as we did before. In this case all around the eye making sure I do just a little too much so that I can erase it and mix it back in in a moment. So erase and down with the opacity, give ourselves a nice soft edge with a bigger brush and gently erase away. Here we go all around the edges gently blending the patch in with the surrounding skin. As usual, this is the longest job in the whole process, but it's still not a massive job. You know, this can be completed in a few minutes. And we're getting there. We're mixing the patch nicely in with the surrounding skin, though it is difficult with this older skin. One last look. I see I need to paint a little bit back in, just in the corner here, like so. There we go. Just around there and erase just one little bit that little bit of edge just there we're done and time to tone the patch okay so add filters saturation and brightness and tone set the exposure i think it needs to be a tad darker down we go i think about there then increase the saturation just a bit. I think that's fine. We're nearly done. That's looking really nice. And we're at the final stage. Just bring the opacity down on the clone and stamp layer to make it look more realistic. And let's take a look at before and after. Here we go. There's before and after and before and after. Really nice. And I think considering the source material, he was a very wrinkly guy, we've done a pretty good job. He looks 10 years younger.